Hey guys, so you're not going to believe this, I have some good news, finally. So today is October 22nd, it's the day after my mobile service appointment was scheduled. Nobody showed up, no call or anything. And then last night, about 8.30, the regional mobile technician texted me and confirmed that he was going to be here tomorrow, which is today. And I, I was surprised because I have an email that says that I have an appointment for yesterday and they came today instead. And first off, the guy is awesome. Like everybody I've talked to who, when I finally get a hold of somebody, they've been very friendly. And I feel kind of like a jerk for being so upset about this, but it, it is pretty extreme to have to try this hard to get some issues fixed. Thankfully, again, they were minor issues. Here they are. I saw him just get the rear diffuser on. I'm trying to stay out of his way, but I'm definitely curious. But I'll have to have another clip to update you guys on how the solution went for the different problems that I had. So yay, finally some good news. And I could stop calling out Tesla and being a jerk. <laughs> hey guys, you'll have to forgive me. Hopefully the audio is okay. I don't have an awesome state-of-the-art studio like some people do. I'm just here filming this in my dining room. So hopefully you guys can hear me okay. But I just wanted to update you guys on what happened yesterday. Today is October 23rd and the mobile technician was here yesterday. And yeah, so here's what happened. So the first issue was my weather stripping on both the driver and passenger front doors had come off. I guess it's a pretty common problem. So he just reattached them. I guess he used some 3M double stick tape to temporarily put them back. But he said that one seal that goes down the seam of the door is actually attached to the whole seal around the door panel. So the whole door panel has to come off and it's like a just a giant gasket. So they have to order that part. So unfortunately they have to be back because they didn't have that part with them. As for the second item, the weather stripping on the Falcon Wing door, uh, I believe that was the driver's side, is just kind of messed up. Watch my other videos, you know what I'm talking about. And he actually pointed out that the door is misaligned a little bit. So he couldn't do anything about that, unfortunately. It can be fixed, but it requires an actual trip to a service station. And it's not that big of a deal, it shouldn't leak. It just looks a little goofy. And I didn't even notice a door is actually misaligned until he pointed it out. So I'm not as worried about it as long as it doesn't leak. The third issue was that the window had some kind of rubbing marks on the passenger side Falco wing door window. I guess it was just some oil. You cleaned the window and it went away. I feel kind of stupid about that one. I should have cleaned the window, but it was there from brand new and I'm just surprised that it, there was any oil on the window. So something inside the gears or inside the channel had gotten onto the window. And yeah, so that's all that was. The window looks fine. I don't see any scratches or streaking now. The fourth issue was the driver's side window had been moving slower than the rest, but that was fine when he came here. So there's really wasn't much we can do about that one. I, I think when the temperature fluctuates a little bit or something, it seems to be slower than the other windows, but not that big of a deal. It seems okay, so nothing happened with that one. Number five, the big one, the first one, was the hole in the rear diffuser. That's been replaced, thankfully. So the whole diffuser is all brand new. Yay, that was a big one. I'm glad that's over with. Number six, sometimes the rear door would pop and click when it goes up or down. Sometimes it would stick a little bit. But of course, when he was here, it operated flawlessly and there was no issues, so... Nothing happened with the rear door either. He noted it, but it seems like it's operating fine now. And now seven and eight, I don't think I've talked about before because they kind of just came up just before he arrived. So I'm not really sure I covered it before, but number seven, I started noticing the dreaded drivetrain shutter. I, I don't really know how or why this happens, but just going down the road under load, it seemed like it was shuttering a little bit. That was something, again, he couldn't do anything about here, but he noted it in the account. So if something happens in the future, I could possibly get it replaced, but it would be another service call at a service station. That's not something they can do in my driveway, unfortunately. And the last issue, I noticed there was a tear in the frunk weather stripping that's separated at the seam where it meets. So they're gonna order a part for that. And so yeah, I guess I've got some weather stripping coming. And I do have an appointment for the 11th of November. 
So unfortunately, another couple weeks away, but I'm so glad that I have another appointment. Steve was great, and I guess what had happened was Asa, who is my rep that I guess, the local rep that I've been working with and communicating with via email, I guess was on vacation for a couple days or just was away for a couple days. So the way it works is all of my communications and texts and everything were going into that system with my file that he had access to. And because he wasn't around, he wasn't seeing any of that and nobody else was seeing anything. So it's just really sounds like a kind of a weird system, but that's what happened supposedly. That's why nobody had gotten back to me. Nobody confirmed my appointment for yesterday. But also regarding the appointment, I guess, Steve, from what he can tell, said that Asa canceled the one on the 21st and rescheduled for the 22nd, but d didn't tell me. So I didn't get any notice of the change at all. I don't know. I don't know why this is happening. Steve didn't even know I had an appointment for the 21st or the 22nd until he checked the night of the 21st. And that's when he texted me and said he would be here tomorrow tomorrow, yesterday, the 22nd. So that's why I hadn't heard from him to this point because Asa, I guess, was my go-to person and they weren't around. Anyways, I think we're moving in the right direction. Hopefully I can wrap this video up and have it be positive by the end and have a fixed car. <laughs> hey guys, more Model X troubles for you. Since my last clip, I did get another appointment. It was scheduled for the 11th. Today is the 8th. Yesterday they texted me and said that they won't be able to make the appointment because the parts haven't arrived. So it's been many weeks, uh, many, many weeks, but the parts still aren't here yet. Now, this morning, I come out to our very first winter snow. Get in my car to warm it up and go for a trip, run some errands, and the driver's side door won't open. So, okay, that's weird. I push the button on the remote trying to get it to pop open and it just wouldn't it was like frozen closed so i went to the other door and during all my remote pressing the passenger door had popped open so i went over there and i was able to get that door open then i reached across and moved the door handle and pushed the door open on the driver's side and it worked now they won't close and here it is snowing and they will not close and also these are not moving not sure why i have it set so it automatically presents when I walk up, but the window is hitting the top. So I can't even close the door. If you see that, if you see that I pushed a little bit, the window bends. Yeah, and I'll show you the other side. It's even worse on this side. The window didn't end up going down at all. So if you could see that, the window is hitting the car, isn't going down at all. This is the very first winter and it's not even that cold. Um, it's maybe 25 degrees and it gets much colder. I really wanna love this car. And I was finally getting back to a point that I think things were going well and I was feeling better about it. And now I come out here with the first snowfall and I can't even get in my car and drive right now. So I think I'm probably just gonna have to remote start the car and hopefully it heats up enough even with the doors open a crack that it melts all this snow off the car. Uh, you could also actually see sentry mode, but I have sentry mode turned off at my house. Maybe I shouldn't have said that on my YouTube channel. I'll turn it back on, but it's been off. And it's, you can see it's still heating the window from that one little spot. And unfortunately my charging cable won't reach my plug right now. That was another reason I was out here. I was gonna turn it around and plug it in and let the uh, battery start to warm up so I can go for a drive a little more efficiently. All right, uh, so my appointment for the 11th in a couple days was canceled. I still don't have a reschedule date for that yet. Ongoing, just ongoing crap. I hope the Tesla truck is better because I'm trading this thing in when the Tesla truck comes out. All right, more to come. Wow, I just had to show you guys this stuff. So I put it in reverse to back it up and try to move it over so I can plug in. And there's a huge clunk, like the brake pads were frozen to the rotors. So I gave it a little throttle and finally it jerked and, and moved. And so now obviously the doors are open. 
So I had that closed as best I could, but I'm backing up and the door creeped open and the car slammed itself into park. Like it was jarring. And I was like, what the hell just happened? So then the door naturally just, the wind picked up and, and closed it a little bit. And so I put it back in drive and then it happened again. So I'm gonna see if I can get it on the clunk. Nope, I can't, so I can't even get it into drive because that door is open. I had no idea that was even a thing with this car. <laughs> uh, f man, what the hell? So I'm gonna have to try to reach over and close that door because now I am in the middle of my driveway <laughs> at an angle. Unbelievable. Like this is just a little bit of cold, a little bit of snow, and I cannot believe I'm already having these issues. All right, I reached over. The door is as closed as I can get it. I'm gonna put it in drive. This is driver's door open, proceed with caution. And I'll just hope that that door doesn't fling open so I can at least get this thing turned around. Lots of beeping going on. All right, I'm turned around. I have the scan my Tesla app. Let's see what the temperatures are. The cell temperatures right now are negative 0.57 Celsius minimum, and then maximum is 1.94 Celsius. So yeah, that's, that's pretty cold. <laughs> that's about as cold as I've seen it. Now the low one is negative 0.50. So it's, it's moving up, and I know it's not good to charge your battery pack if it's below freezing, but the car can manage the temperature. So it's not gonna fully charge it at 10 kilowatts. It's gonna trickle it in, and it's also gonna activate the battery heater, which is gonna allow the battery to warm up and accept a charge. Yeah, it's already to negative 0.35, so it's increasing pretty quickly. So if I can get the charging port door open, I'm going to charge this car and get the battery warmed up, get the car warmed up, and hopefully get my doors closed. We'll see. Okay, here we go. I've got the plug. Let's see if it opens up. I don't know. No, it's not opening. Oh, I had to force it open a little bit. All right, so now it's open. I'm gonna plug in. By now, I'm sure it's already above freezing because it was going up pretty quick. Uh, as you can see, the doors are still open. Mirrors are still folded in. Not sure why everything is so frozen. This is just an average snowfall. Maybe an inch, maybe two. And you can see this side. Oh, this side, the mirror is out and the door is open a crack, but my key is inside. So that won't close because <laughs> normally that would close when I walk away from the car. And you probably would have guessed it by now, but the, of course the front wipers weren't working. Didn't even move, didn't even budge. <laughs> so I've got the heat on and I guess I can't go anywhere until it hopefully melts some of the snow. Let's see if my Falcon wing door is actually open. Ooh, yeah, those open. But I don't want to keep that open because I'll lose all my heat. So I guess I gotta put this phone down. Well, it's been about 15 minutes. So I thought I'd come out here and see how the car was doing. The wind is picking up. It's pretty breezy right now, but hopefully uh, the new microphone is working better uh, and hopefully you can hear me okay. And I also have a brand new camera if I haven't mentioned that before. So upgrading for you guys. But yeah, I was able to get the doors closed. So it looks like when I came back out here, the windows had dropped a little bit. So as you probably know, when you hit the button and open up the car, the windows drop a little bit and then the door opens because it fits underneath this channel. And it looks like when I forced it open, they hadn't dropped. So when I tried to close it again, they wouldn't go in. So it looks like now though that they have dropped and it did allow me to close the door. It moved really, really slow but I closed the door and then the window just really slowly creeped up. This guy still hasn't moved. Uh, you can see the windshield is getting thawed. So hopefully I can drive here shortly, but 
I had a breakfast meeting. Totally changed plans. I had to cancel. Yeah, this just is is not good. I mean, I really, really want to love this car, and I did for a long time. But there's just these little annoyances. Like this is just a little bit of snow. We we get a lot of snow up here in upstate New York, and if it can't handle this, what's going to happen when we have a crazy blizzard or something that's actually nutty that we get a foot of snow? I don't know. I really hope things improve. But I think I'm going to have to end all these clips here because I still don't even have the next appointment for service. So I don't know when the rest of the things are getting fixed. The outstanding issue is still the weather stripping around the door. It hasn't come off again, but he said he temporarily put it up there until he can come back and, and fix it properly. There are a few other creaks and squeaks and stuff, but whatever. Uh, there's not much they can do about that. The door is still misaligned. That would actually require a trip into a service center because they have to have multiple people to hold the doors to align it. It's not bad enough that I really feel like I need to do that. But one side of the glass is, is noticeably lower than the front side, which sticks up a little bit. But I think that was all my issues. It's been so long that I, I can't even remember. I have a list, but I'm, I'm pretty sure those are the two that were left. But yeah, I think that's about it. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. I really hope you guys have better luck with your cars. I love Tesla. I think Elon is crazy, but he's the right kind of crazy that the world needed. So I have nothing against them, and I really hope Tesla succeeds. Uh, I'm just really frustrated with this car. Thankfully, it's still running and driving, but maybe the truck will be better. Uh, thanks a lot for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.